So hello gamers, today we're going to be counting down the top 10 weirdest guns in my opinion. Usually I back up these lists with stats, but like, it's hard to decide which guns are actually weird or not, you know? So this is completely my opinion, let's get into it. At number 10 we got the GB22. I was going to say like, perhaps the 1911 darts for this spot, but I have a weirder 1911 conversion uh, later in the list. But this gun, as you can see, it does like, one damage. I cannot kill anything with this. It's just so bad. Theoretically, it's not terrible, especially with the 50 cal conversion that it has, but I don't have that conversion. And like the default gun, it only headshot kills. It shoots very slow. It's a 22. That's like the most tiny thing you've ever seen. And it does 10 times headshot damage, which is super weird. But yeah, 10 times headshot gun. It's not as crazy as a 50 times headshot gun from the 1911 darts. But like I said, I don't want to put two 1911 conversions in this list. Can I get a headshot, please? No, I can't. Now, number nine is the Spaz 12. And you might be thinking, why? This gun is just normal, right? Well, yeah. Yeah, the normal gun is not that weird, but there is a very weird thing about this. If you look in the optics, there's an extended stock in the optics. Remove stock is also an optic, and so is full stock. Full stock is an optic. Full stock is a scope on this gun. Now, there is a pretty good reason for this, and that is because the normal gun has the stock folded over the sight, so it'd be really hard to, like, make it so you could put full stock and, like, a sight without making it so you could, like, use a sight without, like, folding down the stock, which would be really scuffed. It would pretty much clip your sight into it, so that's basically why they did that makes sense, but other than that, the gun is pretty average. I mean, like, it's a pretty good shotgun. Very fun to use. One of my favorite shotguns in the game. I don't like it with pump action, but, like, semi-auto, it's a really fun fast shotgun that does alright damage, and it's just really fun to use because it shoots super fast, and then you load bullets really well, and, like, it just looks cool. But next up, we actually got the Tech 9. Now, the weird thing about this gun is that it doesn't actually, like, legitimately exist, and I'll explain why. So, the regular Tech 9 is not full auto, and it does not shoot this fast. The real gun is the KG-99, but they added the Tech 9 first. It does say in the stats that it stems from an illegal modification, and that's why it shoots so fast. But like normally, this gun would not exist, right? It's just like a modified version, which is kind of weird because most guns aren't like that in this game. You know, that's why we have conversions to make them modified. But the weird thing about this gun is that it's already modified. And I thought maybe when they added the KG-99, they could have made this a conversion for the KG-99, like an illegal modification conversion that made it the Tech 9. But no, it's just a gun in the game. The reason for this is that when they added the Tech 9, there was no conversions in the game. Conversions are pretty new. I'd say the last three years probably they've been added. So yeah, that's why the Tech 9 is weird. But it's it's definitely not as weird as some of the guns on this list. Yes, uh, so hello. You might be confused by the weird transition. Oh shoot, I didn't have chat off. My neighbor was playing music like really loud and I didn't really feel like going over there and asking him to turn it down because like it's weird. I don't want to talk to my neighbors. <laughs> bro, who talks to their neighbors, bro? Anyways, we're back the next day and I'm going to record the rest of this video. So Uzi 22 LR was number seven. This one is very weird. It gives the Uzi a 50 round drum, a three times headshot multi, but like the lowest damage you've ever seen. The problem is I don't really want to spend 3,000 and 500 credits or go in the test place to go get that. But just so you know, that is a very weird gun. But next up, we got the CAC. The CAC is a very weird gun. It is a revolver carbine integrally suppressed sniper rifle that has 150, I think, more RPM than its unsuppressed counterpart, but it has the muzzle velocity of an ace foul. So it's very weird. It also can one-shot headshot all ranges, but the body damage is really bad. Like, it's a two to a three-shot body, which is not, I guess, terrible, but like a one-shot head, but a, like a three-shot body. Hitting headshots is super annoying as well. Like, good luck hitting headshots. This is a very underrated gun, though. It's actually decent. Like, I'd say it's pretty good. I think I like it more than the jury, honestly, because it shoots so much faster than the jury, and I just hate the jury fire rate. And the recoil, this has a little bit less kick and probably a bit more recovery speed. That makes it really fun to use, you know? It's just a fun revolver carbine. And yeah, this is not a sniper or a DMR. It is in the carbines section of the game, which is just another reason why it's super weird. I want to get a couple more kills with this, though. That was actually really fun. Yeah, so one shot headshot, all ranges, I believe. But it's really hard to hit headshots with this thing. But I guess it does shoot pretty fast. I don't know. But next up, we got the arm pistol. Not only does this gun have a very weird name, it's also, I think, the only pistol in the game that's also a bullpup, which means the trigger is in front of the magazine. It also is statistically similar similar to the Beowulf ECR-556 conversion. It has the same RPM, same damage. Wait, did they buff the fire rate on this thing? They definitely changed, like, the shot sound. If you're an OG, like, Strider subscriber, you know that I, I almost made this gun. I thought it was gonna be really good when it came out, but nah, it wasn't that good. Well, actually, it's pretty good, but, like, the recoil, I really don't like the recoil. It has a weird alt aim as well that makes the recoil, like, side to side. I run comp on it, which makes it decently better, like, to hit shots. But man, it sounds so loud now. I hate it. The new shot sound makes it sound like it's faster than it was before. It's still at 800 RPM. So essentially a Beowulf ECR 5x6. That's a secondary. 
but has that recoil. Statistically, it's probably one of the best guns in the entire game. Three shot to five shot at 800 RPM. A 30 round mag with the extended mag. Normally has a 20 round mag, but like the extended mag, I don't even think it makes it like reload slow or anything. Like it's pretty good. But now let's get to another weird secondary. This is of course the 22 rat shot 1911. This gives it a greater capacity, but makes the damage very weird and the headshot multi very high. Makes the recoil pretty low. Gives it the ability to one shot headshot if all the pellets hit the head and makes it a shotgun. So it's like really weird, but man, it is not that good. As you can see, I just got a 14 assist and that took like four shots. It probably would have taken two or three normally. And that is like a good kill, you know? Most of the time you're gonna be doing about 30 damage. I think it's 36 body if you hit every pellet. Usually you're not even gonna be hitting every pellet and the drop is pretty insane. Like it starts dropping at a think 30 studs. Yeah, it's like 29.9 studs or something. It starts dropping. So yeah, you're gonna be getting like that. You know, you're gonna hit an entire mag and do 70 damage. And at range, like, the spread is not terrible, I guess, for a shotgun. Like, you still hit stuff at range, but, like, it really drops. I think it does, like, 2.5 damage of pellet at range. I think to the body, it's about a 10-shot kill in LRC. And it has a 10-round capacity, and that's if you hit every pellet, which you probably won't at range. Because it's good spread, but it's not, like, good enough to hit every pellet at range, you know? And every pellet to the head is not gonna happen. See, it just didn't happen. I really wish they gave this conversion something more. I think a 15-round capacity could be better. Maybe more damage maybe less drop maybe better spread maybe all three i don't know but like it's just not gonna do that much damage see it is the hit marker machine and you think oh well it does more damage than zip rat shot but zip rat shot has a 50 round capacity and yeah that takes the pro mag but everybody uses the pro mag on the zip because it's like the only way to make it balance you know it's like a 50 round drum with no downsides but it's like not good it's just not a good gun see Look at that. Look at that. I can't even kill anybody. I did a full video on this. You can just go check that out if you want to. But yeah, next up would be the G11K2. I don't have this gun on lock. The reason this one is like so weird is because it has a very weird mag. It fires three shots and then has recoil after the third shot. It fires at 2100 rounds per minute, but only 460 when you run it on auto, which nobody does. The recoil on auto is pretty bad. It has insane multis and it has a 45 round capacity for an assault rifle, which is just really weird. But next up, we got the Rama. This one is really weird because it has an 80 round capacity in a PDW, which I think is the highest in class. Still has a pretty fast reload, but the recoil is weird and I don't know how I got a kill there. It does like one damage. I think it does like 24 to 14 damage. If you didn't know that's the lowest in class by a long shot, you're probably thinking, oh, that's only one less damage than the P90 though. Well, here's the thing though. The P90, it four shots this gun, five shots base. It's the only gun in the game that's not a 22. That five shots just off the bat. You know, it's super weird. And I mean, you can kill people. The recoil is not too bad. It's kind of floaty, but it's not terrible. And it does have a huge capacity. Also, the weird thing about this gun is that it is actually a machine pistol. But in this game, it's a PDW, not a machine pistol, which is super weird. Theoretically, by this game's logic, this is a secondary. But like, it's not a secondary because it's a primary in this game. Even though machine pistols are generally secondaries, it's super weird. You'd think that they put this in the actual class that it's supposed to be in. Since, you know, 1858 carbine is a carbine, not like a sniper, even though it's used more of a sniper. But yeah, this gun is just kind of... Eh. You can kill weak players pretty well. The RPM is pretty good, like 950, I believe. So I think more than a P90, about the same as the MP7. But honestly, the recoil is more floaty than the MP7. Like, it just keeps going up. Another weird thing about it is that it's the highest rank PDW in the game, even though it's probably... It's not the worst PDW in the game, I'd say. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's not terrible. Like, it still does kill people if you just hit a ton of shots. I miss, like, rat shot on this. This was really funny when it had rat shot. Just imagine the 1911 rat shot if it was a primary, but it was full auto and I think had more damage. So, yeah, that was pretty busted. But, of course, this is no surprise. The gyro jet carbine goes in first. I'm bundling this with the pistol, I guess. But the carbine is even weirder because the carbine is just the pistol, but it has a stock and a long barrel. Like, it literally is just a pistol with a long barrel and a stock that basically basically became a primary. It also has like, whoa, the drop is so bad. The reason I couldn't hit shots there and they were kind of like going off to the side is because this thing actually has like, sp it has spread. It has like actual spread. It has aim choke like a shotgun does. So if you aim down sights and you like don't move or anything, like you should have perfect accuracy. No, you don't. Which makes this thing kind of bad at range, but also it's really good at range because like it can one shot torso at range. It shoots really fast and has very, very little recoil but wow, it's just a weird gun. I think the big thing for me is that it just feels kind of weird and just not fun to use. Like it is pretty good if you can use it correctly, but if I'm gonna use like a bad kind of sniper gun, I'd much rather use like the CAC. The CAC is just more fun for me. Oh, wow, okay. 
but like, oh my gosh. If you hit stuff at range, it does kill. Oh, the two tap there. But there you have it, gamers. The top 10 weirdest guns, in my opinion. Kind of a weird video, but I thought I'd do it anyway. Seemed like an interesting concept. If you enjoyed, please like and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.